I'm here today with um, one of my favorite people in the world, sculptor Don Bisbee up in Maine, Brunswick, Maine. I'm so happy to see you. I always love seeing you. Um, you look great. Back at you. <laughs> Tell us where we are, um, where we're at here. We are in the business end of evil, my little fabrication shop. And what are you working on? I'm making flowers. <laughs> Show us a flower. Um, that is the beginning of a flower. So this one's hot. I love and adore your work, and I can't wait to see what these flowers will turn into. Can't wait. Um, Tell us a little bit about your work. No, that won't take long. Um, for 29 years, I've been welding nails together into abstract things. And what kind of nails? Uh, for the last decade, mostly 12-inch spikes, the largest commercially available. 12-inch, like this long, mm -hmm. one foot. One foot. And mm -hmm. you see uh, everything, every, everything, everything you see. Is like 12 inch nails. So this one, 12 yep. inch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, what are they called? Spikes. Spikes. Okay. And how did that start? Um, by using very small half-inch uh, brads. And then every year getting um, a little more momentum and a little better and a little bigger. And uh, just like the work, one, did one size led to one piece, which led to a next piece. So uh, we're seeing different shapes here, different sizes, different mm -hmm. uh, weights and lightnesses. Mm -hmm. Here's a really dense piece. Mm -hmm. um, what's the name of this one? That one right now is tentatively called Seed. Yep, the rule is um, if you're using the same thing for three decades that you got to make something different each time. So um, I don't really, as long as it's different, um, it's exciting to me. So I just keep uh, trying to find new verbs. I love that you call it seed, which we all, as humans, envision as the lightest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Almost yeah, I know. Uh, uh, yeah, easy to miss, and this one. This thing's about to drop hard. through to the yeah. third floor. It's called hearsay. Hearsay. Uh, transmission reception. Yeah, beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful uses the uses the um, the nails a, to describe a certain shape, mm -hmm. um, which is neither an enclosure nor um, a void, um, but um, it looks like a giant ear mm -hmm. or, or a, big, um, a, a big megaphone a Victrola or, horn yeah Victrola uh -huh. exactly. yep. mm -hmm. it's very beautiful but there's a lot of chaos within that so mm -hmm. it looks like you improvised all of the curves that, are, that make, it, make it it was a very simple piece to make as every nail was um, dictated by the nail before so whatever the shape was that went before a, a, a hot nail went on top of that and followed the contour exactly so the hot nail, you take the hot nail directly mm -hmm. to yep. the shape that yep. it requires yep. Yep. its form. Well, weld it in and then beat it with a hammer and follow it around with a hammer. And Beautiful. Before, so not before, one, it, before it gets cold. Not one of these curves is the same as the last. No. No. The entire piece is improvised. Uh, it has to be. It's beautiful. It would be very difficult to choreograph this. <laughs> it's actually easier uh, the way I'm describing because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's all random. And where yeah. are these going to go? Where can I see your work? These are going to the Smith um, Shelburne Museum. Good point. Um, in Burlington, Vermont. What time? When? Mid-January. Peak season. What? Give in, us the dates. In Vermont. Um, these are good questions. It's uh, October now, and I don't know what the dates are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check back in we'll with you we'll when we come in. closer to those they've dates, and we built, hope to all see you there. They have just built a new contemporary uh, building, um, and it's amazing. And so the show is going to be called New Blooms, and there's going to be two other pieces. I've had the beard of Abraham. Now my hands on his Bible For the first time 